नमस्कार In the world today, there are fundamental changes taking place. Because a new consciousness is arising, there is a revolution of thought, a revolution of the ordinary people. This would be a Shudra revolution, a revolution of the ordinary people. It does not come from the top. It is not pyramidical. It is a revolution of the people, a revolution of consciousness. There are energies on the planet today that are changing. And those changes in the psychic waves on the planet cause changes in the psychic waves within human beings and other creatures as well. And great change is the result. Today, many species that lived on this planet no longer exist they have seen their day and a new energy arises which will give way to new expressions. There is the awakening of consciousness within so many people, allowing for a shift a change. Today, many people are drawn to meditation. They want the internal connection to God, not simply the external religion. Today, people want to care about the earth, about each other, about living beings that surround them more and more consciousness is brought to the planet, expressed in so many ways from those who care about the food supply, the nature of the food that is eaten, to those who care about the animals and their plight in the industrial world with the factory farms, those who care about the climate and the changes in the climate, those who care about the species being lost, the rainforest being destroyed, those who care about the lives of human beings as plague enters the picture of the disruptive forces. In so many ways, people are working for the welfare of humanity, for the welfare of the planet. And the number of people who want this has increased dramatically until it has reached a tipping point and it is moving in a different direction. Before, personal greed, individual or national or group dominance was the call of the day. But now there is a great, great universal movement on the planet towards a one human society, interwoven technologically, interwoven in distribution and travel. The global society is forming. And that global society of people throughout the world want dynamic change. They want the balance and harmony with the planet they live on, the health of the planet they live on. They care about what happens to other living beings. 
this is a new paradigm arising not from any uh, leader, arising not from any uh, nation, any quadrant, but arising out of the hearts and minds of people throughout the planet. And it brings a new dawn, a new day, in which the values that are now arising as primary values of humanity and the unity that is across the globe behind those values, that arises to a new level. And the psychic forces that are changing what is happening on this planet, what is happening with people, they bring change. The winds of change have hit the world. And as they move, there is movement. Movement causes destruction as well as construction. You must destruct the old paradigm to allow a new paradigm. That is the way of such things. That is the workings of Prakriti. She builds and she destroys. She destroys and she builds. And the collective movement of people's values, people's intent, people's interwoven connectedness and awareness of what happens all around them, all around the globe, is growing. And this is the Shudra revolution. This is the revolution of the people. It is here today, now, in the streets throughout the planet, in the hearts and minds of people. It is a dynamic time. And naturally, when these strong forces of change arise, there is the movement of forces that destroy what was and bring in the new paradigm. This plague that has come to the world is no accident. It comes from the misuse of living beings. It is a result of something that needs to change. And it enforces change in the world. People cry out in the streets for change. They want a more loving, compassionate, human-centered world where all people have a voice and do not have to live in fear. In such times of dramatic change, there are those who hold to what was and try to preserve it. Let's go back to the past. They are afraid of change. Their fears need to be addressed. And But they hold to, to, more strongly than ever to the values of the past. But their case is weak because the collective 
movement of humanity, the collective flow of planetary energies is not with them. And these waves of change will continue until there is a shift. The future is bright, but part of making that bright future is the turbulence of change, the destruction of what has been and the construction of what will be. This is a revolution, and you are all warriors in this revolutionary movement. It does not mean you need to be on the street. There are many ways in your meditation, in your work, in all that you do, that you become a part of this dynamic change. It will occur. It is occurring right now. You are in the middle of it. And this is a time when the nature of the spiritual self of living beings is taking a stronger hold. And the values that surround and move towards Parama Purusha, towards the Infinite One, they are rising into the fabric of the society. Love for all beings compassion, care for the welfare of humanity and all living beings. These traits are coming forward. The desire to be in harmony with nature, that is rising. The spiritual essence of beings on this planet is emerging. There is light coming as the encrusted elements of thought and action begin to break apart. The true light of the inner self, the true light of divine being, arises, moves through the society moves through the living beings and the world changes. You live in a great time, a time when there is opportunity to be a part of this opening, this light which is binding all living beings to each other in the love of universal self. This is a deep time for meditation. The energies that have been locked and stagnant around you are breaking apart. And when they break, the light shines through. The light of the divine love and compassion for all beings is available within you and around you. It is moving living beings. It is moving the society. Great movement occurs now. It is a revolution. And you are the harbingers of that revolution. You are a part and parcel of that revolution. 
because you believe in the divinity which lies at the heart of all beings, at the center of everything, because you have touched that divine source and you in your meditation bring it into the world. You bring it closer and closer to living beings. And as that light grows and becomes closer to all beings, it affects them. It affects who they are, what they are, what they value, and how the society is run. It is a new day, a new dawn rising, but you are in the middle of the battle, in the middle of the revolution. Let the light of Parama Purusha, the light of that divine, infinite core of being, shine in you and through you. Let it make you whole. Let it make you part of this dynamic change. Never lose faith. Never get discouraged. This is a bright time for humanity. A time when ages of encrusted, self-centered distortions and ill actions are being broken apart. It is a time when light fills the world. Let your personal relationship to the infinite be a source that brings this light into the world. The grace of that infinite one can be felt, can be touched, can be tasted. It is very close now, being brought in by the collective change that is occurring. Your personal relationship to the core of your being comes <coughs> as you surrender your beliefs, your ideas, what you have assumed your life is, to the will of that divine being And let that one guide and move your life. Let that brightness fill you. Let that love fill you. Know that you are guided, you are loved. And you are a part of something great, something noble occurring on this planet. Offer what you have to that divine beloved of your heart.
Let your life be an expression of that infinite love. So that you are part of the change. The change arising out of the longing of people to be close to that divine source, to be personally connected and to allow that divine source to govern the world they live in. This is the change that is happening. There is a transformation Dedicate yourself to that one eternal source. And in your deep sadhana, you become that which is the change. All right. Are there questions? Yes, I, I should tell you that uh, my tree's uh, microphone somehow went on mute, maybe halfway through the talk, and uh, it was only uh, about a minute ago that uh, I observed uh, actually, Dave pointed out it's that you were on mute, so I unmuted. I don't know how it ended up on mute. So we missed uh, we missed much of that. Perhaps uh, you know.